Hello gorgeous, welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new. My name is Nicoletta and today I am doing a whole video around Poshmark. If you guys are wondering, this is actually my girl boss mug and you could totally pick one up. I will link it down below in the description box and have a card up above for you guys. But that is not what this video is about. Like I said, this video is going to be all about how to make money on Poshmark and my tips and tricks. First, I wanted to let you guys know that this video is totally not sponsored. I know a lot of YouTubers get sponsored by them. But Poshmark, if you see this, hey girl, hey, you definitely can hit your girl up if you'd like. As an entrepreneur, I always like to have as many streams of income coming in. Anyone in business probably knows that a lot of the times you can't really rely on income being consistent. One month it could be just totally different from the other months, so that is why you want to make sure that you have as many streams coming in as possible. The past few months, I have been using Poshmark as a side hustle and I have been loving it. I really wanted to help any of you guys out there that are interested in starting or if you wanted to just help build your Poshmark and sell more and make it bigger because I do know a lot of people make it their full-time income and make it like a full-time business which I think is amazing let's just jump right into the tips and tricks I definitely have to do a plug to my Poshmark closet my Poshmark closet is just Nicoletta XO I will have it as the first link down below and if you haven't signed up for Poshmark I totally recommend it and right now they're actually having a really good deal where if you sign up right now and if you use my code and Nicoletta XO you will get $15 it's just a referral code so I just want to be totally transparent with you guys so if you guys use that code you get some money and then your girl gets some money so thank you so much if you guys end up using my code what is Poshmark? Poshmark is a app and they also have a desktop where you can buy and sell used or even new clothing so they have everything from women's fashion men's fashion kids fashion you can even buy things such as makeup and accessories whether that's shoes and purses as well as even home decor so there's so many things that you can buy or sell on the app personally my closet is women's fashion so I sell everything from women's clothing to women's accessories all the things that I am currently selling is everything from my own closet. I know a lot of people resell and they go to different thrift stores and do a thrift flip and then throw it up and make a little bit of a profit. But right now, my closet is just all of my personal stuff that is just like gently used or even brand new that I want to sell because I'm just not using it and I think would find a better home somewhere else. Poshmark is definitely a social app. If you're not active on it, you won't really find much traction on your closet so it's definitely an app where you have to be active in order to get results from I love Poshmark because I find it protects the seller so you can't return your items and as well as the shipping is included with Poshmark so once a customer buys an item it they will just email you the shipping label and you just have to put that onto your package and you're good to go and it's super easy to do so I found Poshmark the easiest to understand and it's the easiest to do. Although Poshmark does take a pretty big percentage off of the item that you're selling. But once you have your account totally set up, it is time to put your items onto it. When it comes to starting something, I never recommend just jumping full in and putting so much money into it right away. You kind of want to see that it's working before you start to invest a little more. So if you totally want this to be a huge business for you and a full in stream of income coming to you, then of course you have to start reselling different items that you buy at thrift stores or discounted stores and you're going to try and flip that and make a bigger profit but when you're first starting out definitely just sell clothing that you have at home you can never go wrong with that you're making a little bit extra money which is always great and you could see if it's something you enjoy and if it's something you, that you want to continue doing when you are posting pictures on your Poshmark make sure you're using a good camera and good lighting I have a lot of camera equipment because of YouTube but to be completely honest I use my iPhone. iPhones and smartphones in general now are just such great quality that you can do amazing pictures straight from your phone. The only thing that I like to do sometimes is if it's not bright enough, I will go in with the filters and make it brighter. So I'll edit the photo a little bit, but for the most part, I will just take a picture off of my iPhone and then post it. A little mistake that I made when I first started out is I took a day and I took pictures of like hundreds of clothing and all I did is I took two pictures of each item. I used to just take a 
a picture of the front of the clothing and then the back. But people really want to know what they're buying. So when you are taking pictures, take pictures close up. So take pictures of the material close up, take pictures if there's any detailing on the item, of the tag so they could see the size and the material of the item. You really want them to know what the item looks like so that when they get the item, they're not surprised or shocked about anything. Sometimes also like to put my own photos and if I can't find photos of the original product online, I will do that just so they can get a better understanding of what it looks like on because personally, I don't try any of the items on. I know some people do. So if you wanna do that, totally do it. But I just like to lay it out and just hang it up. I just find that works for me as long as you have good lighting and it's good quality. If you guys want me to go in more detail, let me know. I will totally do like kind of like a day in the life of reselling, I guess. I think that could be really fun because I can show you all my packaging and all my materials and all of that stuff. So thumbs it up if you guys want to see that and also leave a comment. It always helps me out. So now that you took your pictures, it is time for pricing. Pricing can be a little bit difficult and I personally struggle with this a little bit because you want to do pricing so that you're making a profit. A couple tips that definitely have helped me when it comes to pricing is to one, search up items that are similar or the exact same items. Let's say like a Michael Kors wallet, search up Michael Kors wallet and see what people are selling it for. And you could also go on Poshmark and look at the section where it says sold and see what that item has typically sold around. And I like to usually pick the middle point and sell it for that. You want to also make sure that you are, like I said, taking into consideration that Poshmark does take a percentage and as well as the customers have to also pay shipping, which is pretty expensive. I typically give always a discount on my shipping for the most part, but it is pretty pricey shipping. So you always want to take those two into consideration as well and add that into the total of what you're selling it for. And then what once you have your price, it is important to list your item and put as much description as possible. Whenever someone has like a huge paragraph, no one really has time for that or I feel like really wants to read a whole paragraph. Just short bullet points. So you want something that's easy to read, easy to see, and that also describes your item as much as possible. So if there's anything wrong with your item, so if it's not in the best condition, then you can write what is wrong with your item. Just make sure that you are showing what is wrong with your item. You don't want to just sell stuff and have a bad reputation with your customers because no one's going to want to buy from your closet. There is a rating system on Poshmark, so you really want to try to be as consistent as possible to get a really nice rating and so that people will continue to purchase from your Poshmark. Honesty is the key. If anyone leaves any questions for you, try and answer as soon as possible and try to be flexible. So if someone wants a discount, I try to normally give them a discount just because you're getting more customers. You want to be as understanding to the customer and you want to try and be a little bit more flexible. Poshmark really likes when you have at least 50 active listings up. I'm a little bad at that. I have a ton of clothing that I have to list. I actually have full of bins full of clothing that I have to list but sometimes uh, because I can't put as much time as I would like I slack a little bit on putting up different items but today for example is my Poshmark day where I could put more things up so that's kind of one why I wanted to film this video so it is important that you're putting as many items up as possible weekly daily whatever's really fits for your schedule because people are more likely to find your closet the more items that you have now I'm going to talk about sales Something that's really going to help you get that sale is sharing. So share your clothing items constantly, whether you could do it every single day, even a couple times a day, a few times a day, or if you can't, as many times as possible, as well as share other people's clothing. So on the front page of your Poshmark, you will see other And when the phone just kills your vibe, Sharing other people's closet is essential. When you share someone's closet, they return the favor back. And when you constantly share your items and other people's items, your item is becoming more relevant. So let's say someone searches up Michael Kors purse and you have one on your closet. If you're constantly sharing your purse and you're getting other people to share your closet by sharing theirs, then your Michael Kors 
purse will be higher up on the search when someone is searching it. If you don't share your items or you don't share other people's items, when someone searches Michael Kors purse, yours is going to be all the way in the bottom and most likely someone's not even going to see your item. So you always want to be active. Poshmark really likes activity and building your audience. So currently I have under 3,000 followers and honestly I've gotten that all just from sharing constantly. I haven't really mentioned my Poshmark 2 too much on YouTube or haven't done like a full video like this so all of my followers pretty much don't know I do YouTube and they're just people that use the app and that I've shared their closets or they've shared mine or people have found my closet because someone shares my, shared my items and stuff like that. Follow as many closets as you want because it actually benefits you when you follow a ton of people because a lot of people follow you back. Of course, the more people that are following you means that the more eyes are on your Poshmark closet and in turn will lead to more sales. Now I'm gonna talk about a Posh Ambassador. I am currently trying to become a Posh Ambassador because that is so beneficial beneficial for your closet. So if you actually go onto your Poshmark app and where it says kind of like your sales and your balance, they have this thing called My Posh Stats. And my posh stats is really great because it tells you when you are close to becoming a Poshmark ambassador. I am currently at 77% on my way to becoming a Poshmark ambassador. Obviously, you have to reach 100% in order to get that. When you click the 77%, for example, it tells you everything that you have to do. Once you hit that posh ambassador, it is amazing because they actually advertise your closet. So you're getting free advertisement, which means a lot more people are going to be viewing your closet and you're going to get a lot more traction. Other tips in order to get a sale is by doing bundles. Let's say you get one item and let's say you get three items. You actually pay the same amount of shipping for those three items as you will for that one item. So it's actually beneficial if someone buys more than one item off of your closet because they're going to be paying the same amount of shipping. So there is these things on Poshmark where you could do bundles. So you could give a discount if someone buys, let's say, two or more pieces on your closets, whether that's 10% or 20%, which is gonna be in the end more enticing for someone to actually purchase something from your closet. As well as you could totally give discounts on shipping and the discounts on the pricing. I find a lot of my sales do well when you give a little bit of a discount off the item. Someone is more willing to pay for it if they find that they're also getting another discount on top of the already discounted item that you're selling. Now I'm gonna talk about shipping. So it is really important that once once you get that sale that you ship out as soon as possible. I personally like to ship out the day of or the next day if it's too late and my average shipping time is 1.4 days according to Poshmark. So I really like to stay in that because I want obviously my customers to be satisfied. I know how annoying it can be to have really long shipping so I always like to ship out as soon as possible. Next I'm gonna talk about packaging. So I actually bought personalized packaging off of Amazon which if you guys wanna see a whole video on that, let me know. I like to buy personalized packaging, wrap it really nicely and also have a little personalized note for my customer to really just tell them thank you and I'm appreciative. Someone is spending their hard earned money on your closet, giving you income, so that is the least that you can do. So I really like to take time whenever I am packaging things. I like to make it a little bit more special. That will mean if they enjoy it as well, they're more likely to come back to your closet one day. So you want to try and get returning customers, of course. So put time into your packaging and don't just rush it. You really want to give an amazing experience from the start and finish. That is all of my tips and tricks on how to make money on Poshmark. I hope this was useful. I will link my Poshmark closet down below as well as my code NICOLETTAXO if you want to get $15. Like I said, if you want to see more videos like this, thumbs it up. Click that subscribe button to join my YouTube family. I would love for you guys to be a part of it. I will have my mugs down below so pick up a girl boss mug. And on that note, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!